Taurus, happy birthday. Happy birthday to my Tauruses. So let's dive in. This is going to be your May monthly reading, what's happening for you in the month of May. So you're probably wondering why it took me so long to do the Taurus one. I had actually filmed it first, but then it somehow got deleted. So apparently that message wasn't meant to come out. Um, the title that I had for it was somebody's ready, finally ready to take action. But I don't know, maybe it's supposed to be a surprise. Maybe this person is like, you know, intercepting the message. We'll see if it comes through here, but um, that's kind of what came down. We've got the eclipses happening on the Taurus Scorpio axis. So if you have Taurus placements, obviously you do. You might be feeling these eclipses pretty strongly this month. Um, but I feel like that message and it's like, it's been so long since I filmed that and I filmed so many other readings that I really forgot the, the, the message. So um, just know that somebody might be taking action towards you and there might be something about it that like is supposed to be like secret or a surprise. Um, the fact that it the message got deleted. So let's dive into what we can expect. Whole new reading, whole new energy. Um, if you want a more personalized reading from me, be sure to check out the links in the description box. I do offer um, a couple different options as well as follow me on Instagram because I'm always kind of putting out specials and things like that um, via my Instagram stories. So let's dive in. Song I got on shuffle for you guys was Fire In My Soul by Oliver Heldens. There's a fire in my soul. It's the gasoline in you. Makes me burn out of control. Dun, dun, dun. So, things might be spicy, might be hot here for you in the month of May, Taurus. Let's get some, let's get some oracle cards here. What is going on for Taurus in the month of May? Oh, patience. Long road ahead, reward awaits. So see, it came out in the reverse, so I feel like something that you've been patiently waiting for is showing up for you. Let's get another. Please, Taurus in the month of May. Breathe, inhale, exhale, create space within. So whatever you've been calling in, whatever you've been waiting for, make sure you're creating the space for it. Let's get one more. The sun, conscious mind, masculine, life force, and we have your wishes coming true, celebrate success. So with the sun, talk about like fire my soul. What's like more fiery than the sun, right? Um, so you could be like this breathe, create space within. I feel like it's kind of saying like get ready to kind of be larger than life. Like make that space because there's going to be some kind of like maximizing of energy here for you. Um, and it's like you've been in like patient mode, but it feels like things are going to be picking up here. Some of you might be like put in the spotlight in some kind of way. Let's get some Moonology cards. What do the Moonology cards have to say for Taurus? Nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable moon. Let's get two more, please. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. So between now and the full moon eclipse, which is going to be at the end of the month, uh, things could get interesting for you. Balance, spirituality, and a practicality, full moon and Pisces. Um, let's get one more. You're very close to achieving your goal. So yeah, it's like the message I'm getting here, especially with the nothing is yet set in stone. It's like you, the actions you take between now and the end of the month during full moon eclipse season are going to be the determination of how things proceed. I'm almost feeling like, <laughs> I haven't seen that movie yet, but everybody's talking about it. I need to go see it. Um, but maybe that's a message. Maybe you need to go see that everything, anywhere, all at once or whatever. It's like about the multiverse. Um, that's what I'm feeling here. I'm like, you are creating the universes. Like you might be presented with decisions 
And based on how you move from here to the end of the month is going to determine what happens. I don't know. Let's go. Bottom of the deck, we have the 10 of wands. So you could be coming to the end of this cycle of, you know, feeling like you are carrying a lot, feeling like there's a lot on your plate. Um, like you might be needing to balance, needing to make space, release baggage, right? In order to create that space for yourself. So let's take a look at the overall energy of the month for my Tauruses, the star card. So like I said, a major wish fulfillment, but some of you might be stepping into some kind of spotlight or recognition here. Um, why is the star card here? Aquarian energy. What is the star card doing here? The world card, whoa. Um, I just keep hearing like larger than life. So I don't know what's coming in for you that's like that. But with the star card, the world card here, like definitely the ending of a cycle or rebirth, but I really see this more as you guys stepping into the spotlight. Like I see you guys stepping into some kind of spotlight on like a, a global level. I don't know. I mean, do I have like really famous people watching me? I don't know, but it could be metaphorical too, but there's this like larger than life type of energy here um, coming in for you. So Aquarius, Pisces energy, closing out, rebirth. Um, the Hermit card, Virgo energy, King of Crystals, and the Nine of Crystals, okay. So the nine of pentacles is very beautiful energy here. Very abundant energy, very like I make my own money, I attract on my own, very self-reliant, uh, very independent. Same with the hermit. So what is the hermit doing here? And both of these cards are very like Virgo cards to me. The nine of pentacles and like the hermit, which is the nine card. Um, what is the hermit doing here? This is like you creating that space within, right? You're creating that space within the tower cards here. But the tower card to me is like enlightenment. Um, it's like in this setting, clarifying the hermit, it's like by going within and creating that space, it's like you have this like major enlightenment. Let's get one more. Why is the tower card here? The king of swords um major clarity like i feel like you're gonna get really clear on something this month um like a download like a like a mind blow like mind blown but it's something that you find within yourself like maybe if you're into meditating or if you're into like yoga or something like you might just have some kind of epiphany like i feel like you're having an epiphany this month King of Crystals, Nine of Crystals. What is the Nine of Crystals here? The Ace of Wands. Some of you are going to be starting a career or starting something that's going to be very abundant for you. Like I said, you're having this massive epiphany. Um, and when this epiphany comes, it's this kind of like, huge thing why is the ace of wands here ten of wands okay um so dropping something and starting something now that's just what i hear it's dropping something and starting something now um there's something unfinished for you and when it finishes there's going to be a like this epiphany all right um we have the emperor aries energy we have the seven of crystals and the seven of swords interesting okay so with the emperor here i feel like god whatever this epiphany is it's like crystal clear vision like you're going to especially with the emperor it's kind of like stepping up like knowing what you want being really clear and really direct the Seven of Crystals here, it's that kind of patience card. It's planting the seeds and waiting for it to grow, um, tending to your garden. So it's like 
there is this crystal clear vision, but there is this need for patience. This has been kind of the theme for a lot of the readings. Like a lot of the signs have been like something big's coming in, but there's a need for patience. So, um, and that's kind of eclipse season. Like eclipse season isn't the time to really be, like it's the time for change and endings and new beginnings to happen, but it's really not the time especially since we'll be in Mercury retrograde, this isn't gonna be the time to act. It's the time to like tie up loose ends, revise, reorganize, because when Mercury comes out of retrograde and then Jupiter moves in, Jupiter will have already moved into Aries, but will be through eclipse season, things are going to pick up speed. So let's see, the Emperor, what is the Emperor doing here, please? Mm, the nine of wands and the nine of swords so nine and nine so here's the thing there's going to be something that you see super clearly but because of the fact that you have to be patient it's gonna like mess with your head a little bit like there could be something that messes with your head a little bit or you feel like I don't know if I can wait for this or I don't know if I have it in me to like wait I don't know What's the Seven of Swords doing here? Seven of Swords. The Page of Crystals. Okay, one more. The Death card. So, um, the Seven of Swords. This is kind of like, okay, what's hidden from you? What's And, and it can be like self-hidden, right? What's hidden from you is this Page of Crystals and the Death card. This Transformation. What's being hidden from Taurus here? The lovers, okay. Uh, um, seven of Swords, what's being hidden from Taurus? Page of Crystals, the transformation, and the lovers. Um, a, a soulmate connection or something destined is currently being hidden from you, but it could also be that it's like hidden behind self-deception of like self-limiting beliefs and telling yourself like oh it's not for me um blocking things out blocking out this opportunity um but with that death card it feels like there is this opportunity that is going to bring in a lot of transformation let's see i'm gonna come back to that um, two of Wands and the Temperance card. So some kind of action here, forward movement. Um, the Temperance card, Sag Energy. Again, about patience. Um, patience, healing, temperance. Like there's going to be something that I feel like you want to take immediate action towards, but you have to wait. The Nine of Cups. Again, wish fulfillment. A lot of nines. So it's like you're almost at the 10 but you're at this nine like all of the nines are on the table so it's like you're reaching the end of this cycle so it's really like how you choose to move forward is going to be the determinant are you patient enough to wait to see whatever this is through are you patient enough to wait to see whatever it is through or if you're not um it's it's I feel like there's somebody here who is like a soulmate, a soulmate, very divine counterpart energy, but you can't see it right now. And maybe you're like, I'm sick of waiting for this person or I'm sick of waiting for this situation. But it's like, God, you're so close to being where you are. And if you just create that space in your mind, you're going to have or space in your own life separate from whoever this person is, you're going to have that epiphany. Uh, the Awakening card. Yeah, this is like that. It's almost one of those things where it's like the Three of Wands. Yeah, that epiphany is coming in. Your person's having an epiphany. Your person's going to have an epiphany as well. Um, it feels like things pick up for you in a situation or a connection or just your love life in general. But it's like, are you patient enough to wait it out? Um because not everything is as it seems. And it's almost like what you want is already right in front of you and you're gonna have that epiphany. It doesn't have to be about romance. It's just about like, 
either your career or something that's already in front of you. Like you don't have to change anything about your life. You just kind of have to, like you're gonna be presented with this and then it's like either you can be patient or either you can decide like I'm not patient. I'm, but it's saying like, just stick it out a little bit longer and not waiting, but creating the space within yourself. Um, let's see, what is this that's coming in for Taurus? What is this that's coming in for Taurus? Four of Crystals. What is coming in for Taurus? The Eight of Cups. The High Priestess, okay. And the Hierophant. All right, so look at that, counterparts. Something really spiritual. High Priestess and the Hierophant are counterparts in the deck. Um, so could be like a spiritual connection here or it could be like grounding your spirituality in like the physical. Um, grounding something spiritual into the physical. But Four of Crystals with the Eight of Cups. I do feel like what's coming towards you is either somebody walking away from being really closed off to the fact that this is a spiritual connection. Like I said, I feel like there's um, a situation in your life where somebody hasn't admitted that this is like, this is the one, you know? It's like, is, like the question has been like, is this the one? Is this like my soulmate? Is this my divine counterpart? But at the end of the day, we are our own twin flames. We're our own things. Like we have to find that within ourselves and then it's like revealed to us. But I feel like that's what's coming in is this reveal of like, oh, but maybe you learn it a little bit quicker than your person. And that's where you have to be patient, like, and just sit in the knowing, but you might be in like a, is it or is like, it might take so long that you're like, is it or isn't it? So what are you planning on taking action towards here? Five of Swords. What are you planning on taking action towards here, Taurus? The moon. Are you planning on taking action towards? Oh my God. Um, the Strength card and the Two of Crystals. Overcoming something in your ego. I think that's going to be your focus here. Overcoming some kind of ego thing that's like controlling your subconscious fears. What cycle are you closing out? Eight of Wands, closing out the devil. Yeah, again, this is like something that's kept you bound. Um, something that's maybe kept you bound emotionally with that King of Cups, like or like a karmic situation or something that's just kept you tied up. Like you're gonna be releasing that and it's gonna create a lot of forward movement for you. And it's going to really help you, you know, choose your heart, choose your emotions. So what is this that's being hidden from Taurus? Three of Crystals. An opportunity for growth, the Four of Wands and the Queen of Cups. I feel like somebody, somebody who's been in indecision, but I think that maybe you have also been mirroring that indecision and not clear on like this energy too. It's like you have to get clear on what it is that you want, what it is like, and when you say, this is my person, I know it, full body, yes, this is my person, that's when it like shifts, right? Um, or it's my person if I decide it to be because I'm my own person. That's, what, that's where you need to get to, it's that epiphany. So what is this transformation happening? Like I said, it's this, the justice, the karma is cleared and it's like the fog is cleared and you see clearly, you see clearly like the masks are off and you see this energy for what it is. And I really feel like it's like, oh my God, I have 100% clarity now that this is my person. Deep down, I knew it all along. And I feel like this person's having that awakening too. Um, what awakening is your person having here? Knight of Swords, so also clarity. Four of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. So clarity and a renewal of feelings. So it's gonna mirror because I do feel like this person's been stuck in their emotions and that's like the haze that's like, um, 
you know, fear of disappointment, fear of like not feeling stuck in their own feelings because they haven't been able to release it. But it's like when you get that clarity, so does this person. It's very divinely guided here with the Wheel of Fortune. So in the extended, I'm going to dive a little bit deeper into this. I'll pull from a different tarot deck. We are going to pull some archetype cards to get clearer on the energy um, of what's coming in. We'll pull some from the sexual tarot from the message card. So if you're interested in that, be sure to click the link in the description box and I will see you guys there.